10 things I wish I knew earlier before I started my locks journey, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Kim Tobea and this is my YouTube channel. We're on the road to 30,000 subscribers, so subscribe down below and uh, help the channel grow on PayPal so that I can afford a good microphone and stop using my <laughs> my earphones as speakers because I don't want you to hear any other noise than my voice. One thing I wish I knew is um, I should have started earlier. <laughs> So number one, I wish I would have started my locks journey a little bit earlier because why not? Like when I wake up in the morning, I'm so cute and I'm not frustrated and they're just so easy uh, to manage like and it's so cost effective. You know, guys, before I started my locks, I didn't want to have that weird stage, the one, two, three month stage. So they're weird you know like when you the starter locks they are weird <laughs> i don't care and i had a natural hair for over five years if someone told me starting locks will be the growth it grows really the length of locks grow really fast the natural hair what was i wasting my five years being natural for because i have a foresee hair texture which is really good for locking and i wish i would have started earlier because now my length will be on on my ass <laughs> but uh, we're here so i wish someone would have told me because i usually fear the the starter lock the one two three months when you're starting because the the length is always weird and i used to think that you have to cut your hair so that you'll start from from the roots but it's not actually so Especially if you have a 4C natural hair, you can start. You don't need to cut your hair because it does not relax. So it's natural. So you can start from there. And also you can add extension. You can add fox locks for length. Um, yeah. I wish someone would have told me I can add length to the starter lock so that they can, I don't have that weird stage. I just don't know. Like I hate that weird starter lock journey. The one to two, three months. And I wish someone would have told me another thing because I used to, I was waiting for my sister's dreadlocks to be long, the length to be long so that she can sell for me. And when you you get sell the people can sell you the real dreadlocks, like the real authentic dreadlocks, so that you can start the extension. But it's thirty thousand Kenyan shillings, that three hundred Kenyan shillings. But I wish someone would have told me earlier that you can do fox locks at a cheaper rate that's 65 dollars plus installation plus styling plus washing everything plus the fox locks extension it's actually cheaper i wish shaman will have told me guys i'm sorry about the noise from there but i have to make this vlog today because i wasn't even feeling well mic check mic check oh guys I really thought I was recording this the second time I'm redoing this video but I usually postponed doing my like setting my locks done because I didn't want that weird stage because I just don't like the length of that stage and I wish I knew you can do fox locks extension or temporary uh, temporary locks extension I would have started earlier because if you don't know this is my fox locks I don't know why I feel embarrassing. This is my fox locks. Like I feel like I have cheated the system to be here. But the locks community is so I've not seen like natural community. No, I'm not just I'm not I'm saying it because I've experienced it. I've been four years, uh, more than four years natural for C girl. I've been maintaining my for C hair naturally. With no relaxer, just my natural, kinky, beautiful hair. But the 4C community is so judgy. But I feel like the law community is sisterhood, more encouraging and letting you breathe. And they welcome you in the community so well. And they don't judge you. So I feel like I should have started this journey so earlier. Let me check my video first because I've been recording for the past time. 
Okay, we are recording still. I hope the, you can see me well. It was cut off. I was saying is, I wish I would start earlier because I've been five, more than four years, and my hair length was like here. And I wish I knew that you don't need to cut your locks if you are for C natural hair to start the locks because I don't know what was going on in my mind. I didn't research well this locks journey. I was I also feared the commitment. But guys, I feel like I look cute. Sorry about the earphones, but I really want you to hear what I'm saying and not to hear the distraction. I had to record Vlogmas the 17. What come what me? There's a lot of noise around but yeah don't forget to subscribe uh, we are in the road to 30,000 subscribers subscribe down below i'll be recording my lock journey guys uh yeah and if you didn't know i have fox locks on i wish i knew earlier also that um you don't need to buy the real uh, dreadlocks i was waiting for my sister to cut for her her, le her locks because she is naturally like locked for two years so i was waiting for her length to at least reach here so that i can buy the locks from her because locks are thirty thousand kenyan shillings and she was gonna sell me for twenty five thousand because we sisters so it was so expensive that it took me quite a while to go lock because I just love length. I can't stand the weird lock, starter locks, the one to two, three months. So I need length, guys. I, I don't know if it's just me alone. So I took longer for me to go natural because I thought it, uh, locks way because I thought it was expensive. But this fox loss cost me $65. 6,500 Kenyan shillings from installation, the locks itself, the fox locks extensions itself, and what else? The, the styling and everything. It cost me 6,500 Kenyan shillings. Watch that video here. I recorded everything so you'll get to know how I am. Also, another thing I wish I knew earlier is um, I can. Because I was scared to fully commit, I was like, what if I get bored with my locks? So this is a temporary fox locks. What that means is if I change my mind, I can change it after a year. I can remove them after six years and uh, have loose hair like before, if that's the choice I would want. But guys, this is so cheap. Like I wish I knew earlier how it cheap it is to maintain locks. I would have started earlier because it's only where I live, Nairobi. I leave the contacts here. I watch that video. It's only five dollars to do retwisting, retouching. Like these terminologies are so new to me. So correct me, my sisters, on the com comment section down below. So it's only five hundred Kenyan shillings to do retwist after my loctician advised me after a month, but no way because another thing i wish i knew earlier before installing the locks is you do not need to retwist your roots every like continuously you need to give your roots space so that it doesn't damage your hair you know you need to retain the strength of your hair of your locks so i will be doing it after every seven weeks i'll try and stretch it after every seven weeks it's only 500 kenyan shillings and do you know how much money I spent with my loose hair, my 4C and thankful 4C hair? I used to spend 2000 to get protective styles every three weeks. And after two weeks, the protective style is not, it's not looking cute. And with uh, locks, I like it when it's even messier. You know, I don't even like it when my roots are well done. I like it like... You know, like then they're more loser than this like when they're more like messy i like it like that and another thing i wish i would have knew earlier i would have been in this community from five years ago guys this community you know when i was going to get my locks it's a uh, like a locks uh, they do interlocks they do like these terminologies are so new to me so i'm grasping them so correct me in the comment section uh, they do dreadlocks, so there are so many people with their like starter locks. They are doing starter locks. They are doing like retouching, retwisting, all those things. So I was feeling kind of um, insecure because uh, I feel I was cheating the system with doing fox locks. 
So I was feeling like I was uh, feeling a bit ashamed because you, if you are from Fosse Natural Hair Community, you know how harsh this of the Fosse Natural Community are. I've been in the community and I'm talking from experience. Guys, we're so harsh. Even when someone wants to do like, I don't know, like you'll do something, you'll do a, a routine on your wash and uh, go routine and they will tell you, this is why you, you are you are not retaining clear. This is what, like they're so harsh when you're advising each other but in the sister community in the rasta community i don't even what terminology to use because i don't know if it's me alone but ever since i started my locks my sister nana calls me sister or rasta and i I'm, i don't like it i don't know i just don't like being i don't like the word i feel like it's segregation or something but i don't like the word so this community like locks community it's the best community ever they are so kind they've been uh, ever since they saw that video they've been welcoming welcoming me to the community and uh, just uh, telling me how it is uh, just being like not even like not uh, throwing all their opinions on me just welcoming me full-heartedly and not even saying oh it's fox it's not real it's not it no they are just like cool and spiritual i like that uh calm yeah i like that a lot and also i wish th another thing i wish i knew before starting their um, locks starting my locks is that um the build up also if it was not for my sister i'm telling you i've put so much product on my hair locks don't even need no product my loctician has told me just to use a movit the pink one spray i will let you know about the review about that one because i haven't find it yet if you are in kenya and you know where i can get the movit pink because i went to super cosmetic and uh, and best lady i did get it so let me know where i can purchase one you don't need to put so much uh, products on your hair when you're shampooing it make sure you shampoo like once a week after it's locked uh make sure you don't you can't use any shampoo you need to use a spray uh spray clarifying shampoo so that it can avoid uh build up another thing is every c is your best friends apple cider vinegar the one the mother mother nature i don't know the original one the bragg's one yeah it's the your best friend it will help you when you soak it it will help you remove build up it's like and dandruff and all those good stuff because uh, another thing you need to know is also to use santin like pillowcase me i'll advise pillowcase because that uh, bonnet i cannot keep bonnet even when i'm awake it just slips out of my hair so another thing is to have a silk pillowcase i'm yet to buy because to avoid lint and uh, cotton and pieces of cotton and towels to be on your hair by the way you need to be careful when you're like rinsing your hair you need to be checking your locks and removing the lint before they like lock in your locks that's what cause like build up the white stuff and also it's not nice to uh, when you you can dye it but it's not it's like putting wood on a like funica wood now will heal i don't know if you know what i mean but i wish i'll know these are the things i wish i'll know early i wish i would have started earlier because it's not much easier i look more cura and i just feel more free and it's not heavy on my head and even if you don't know me like i used to be specific on my hairstylist because some hairstylists will put protective style on you and you'll have a headache but this one i didn't even have a headache it's more natural it just goes like the way your hair is growing and uh, another thing is uh these are fox locks what that means is i have a decision because i was so scared uh I didn't know if I, I'll have commitment for that long to get my hair locked. I was more on to lose hair so because lose hair can, you know, African women like changing our style after two weeks, two weeks. So I didn't know my full commitment. So with Fox locks hair, temporary extensions, I don't know how you'll call them. I have an option to remove them after like maximum a year, but I'm planning to remove uh, to remove them and i'll see i'm not yet sure but 
when I was going to get them, I was like, okay, if they, I get bored, I can remove them after six months. Da, 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 da. But now it feels so nice. When I wake up, I'm already cute. I don't even need to do my makeup. And I don't know, like I feel nice. I wish you will let me know more in the comment section. My sister is telling me more about them. I still want to, with these fox locks, one cone is... They're not heavy at all they are not heavy and they're not painful that's for sure but what i've noticed with them after i've getting installed the sixth day i was feeling my whole scalp itchy and i was wondering what's wrong and my sister told me that maybe it's bee wax and then my other sister told me maybe it's the uh, fox fox locks the the extension locks so i researched and uh, I heard that you need to spray apple cider vinegar on your scalp or before they install your fox locks extension they need to soak them on the apple cider because you know the processing and all those stuff may interact with your scalp and make a large allergy but imagine it is this uh it's not even all that it is this spike i don't know if you can see them can you see them yeah this spikes from here so you know it's uh not real so it's it's spiking my scalp and making me feel like I'm itchy. So I, I had this style like pin up like here on the side. So I had to remove it. And actually I've, when I've removed it, my scalp is not uh, itchy anymore. So I think it's because of what was causing my itchy. Itchiness is the thing. So I'm waiting for my sister for her length to grow and uh, I'll buy the real ones. <laughs> yeah because uh, now i feel like it's much cheaper because 500 let's say i'll be retouching once once after two months 12 months so six six times five so i'll be spending 30 dollars a year just to maintain my locks and if i didn't have my locks if i had my loose hair i'll be spending 24,000 just to maintain my hair Hey guys, and you know when I'm removing this, it's only sixty-five dollars to from the installing. I don't know if I'm repeating myself because this video has been cutting off. Ah, I'm just not even not gonna edit this. I'm just, I just feel nice by the way. I just feel nice. I feel beautiful. I feel naturally beautiful with this style. What do you, what do you guys think? And the 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 thought that. I, I don't I can remove them if I want to like have that option makes even this style even more nicer and hmm baby I don't even have any makeup or just have a lip gloss and I feel like I look so cute oh my okay let me just do a thumbnail okay so I don't know what else let's comment down below and yeah i'm not the mood actually to record a video it's just because i'm doing vlogmas and i had to do a video today because i didn't do a video yesterday guys i don't know if it's me alone but when i'm on my cramps and i'm cramping oh my god hello many store when i'm cramping i don't feel like doing anything it's just crippling me i don't know i've uh, i'm just one footstep going into contraception because i feel like everyone who's Every gynecology advice just going on contraceptive to manage your periods. <sighs> anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope tomorrow I'll be feeling much better. Ella, nini? I hope tomorrow I'll be feeling much, much better. And I'll record something for you. I've been trying to do vlogmas from day one and I was acing it, but then. When I'm feeling some kind of pain. So yeah guys. That's it. See you tomorrow.